how to send triggered emails on Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up the automation emails and also the, here the triggered emails into your Wix website. So these emails will help you to achieve the, your customers after they have a set an act or an action into your website and this act is going to be something that you have programmed for the customers to set up or to do and after that they will receive an email informing them that they would get for example another chance to uh, get the uh, product that has been uh, let's say here out of stock uh, when they are back in stock or you are going to uh, set them or um, uh, send uh, let's say here an abandoned cart uh, which is going to be the trigger right there, the abandoned cart into their email to remind them that they have forgot something in their card and etc. So it is very easy and very simple. Follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to know how we can do that quickly. So the first thing that you need to do is to head over wix.com, sign in for an account. And after that, you're going to see here the sites dashboard. Once you are on the sites dashboard here, you are going to see all the websites that you have created. So go ahead and choose one of the websites. In my case, I will go ahead and select this. You can select and edit the site. And uh, once you are here, you are going to load the dashboard. And after that, you are going to see the control center or the control panel of your website at the left uh, side of the screen. So we are going to set up here the automation and we are going to see the automation here on the second part of the menu here. Uh, of course, you need to set up an email address to send up here the email. So they will be uh, sent with the name of your business or your domain. You can go ahead and add a business email connected or there. Click on here. And then you are going to connect it for the business email and they will receive your email directly. So if you don't have a, a business email, it is okay. You can go ahead and use your usual one. So you are going to click on automations. And from here, you are going to see a whole menu for the automations. You're going to see some suggested one for you. You have here the installed one for you and you can all go ahead also and search for anything that you want. So you're going to read here that we have 23 installed for us. So you can also set up any automation from here or you can go ahead and add a new automation. So right there, we are going to read some of the uh, suggested one. So email customers after you charge their credit card. Let client know that their appointment request has been approved. Uh, remind clients uh, about upcoming sessions and etc. All of these are triggered emails. So you are going to send triggered emails. Any act of these will result a sending email or trigger a sending email to the customers that have committed the act. For example, let's say here, the client know about the appointment pending confirmation. So let's go ahead and see that uh, we have maybe uh, the reminder to follow up with new clients, increase sales, reminder customer abundant cart. This is one of the uh, ones that I have mentioned at the beginning because this is the most famous one. Increase sales by reminding customers of abundant carts. So we are going to click on setup automation because this one we are going, I'm not going to take a tour. This one is going to be here for the Wix stores. You are going to uh, here uh, remind, put a reminder for the customers who have uh, bought or added some products or some items to the cart and only bought one product or forgot to finish the payment or the buying process of the products. So you're going to set up the trigger, check out abandoned. This is the trigger. As you can see here, you are going to uh, check out abandoned, click on apply. 
this is after the clients have managed to set up their account because here wix will automatically recognize the client because in order to proceed to the checkout they need to create an account so this is a very very smart step that the automation have set or the stores creators have set because if let's say that uh, our shopify store didn't require a uh, or the wix store didn't require an email address how could the checkout be triggered with the abandoned cart if someone didn't or uh, if it doesn't have a um, email address of the customer so this is a very smart move now for the uh, waiting or the delay that we are going to set up the trigger or the action we are going to sit here two hours i think that two hours is too much so we are going to set it only for one hour and for the email we are going to see here the email that we are going to send so we have a no reply address and we have also uh here the reply to email so this is an automation wix so wix will give you an automation email or no reply email so you can go ahead and use that or you can go ahead and edit the uh, sender right there so now we are going to see here the subject of the email or the template itself you can go ahead and switch the templates uh, or preview it or test it so we are going to preview the email i'm going to see here the email this is it we noticed that you left something in your court boom now i'm going back right there to the triggered emails so we are going to see here or set up the uh, same particular one so apply this one hour also apply send email we are going to see it i'm going to add some details uh, i'm going to add the details right there so i'm going to uh, send the uh, code to my email address so we need to set those i'm not going to do that but i'm going to set it later so we are going to uh, here send the or confirm the email address of ours so right here we have confirmed the testing email address that we have here we're going to click on save boom now uh, here we are going to set up the editing again we're going to open up here the theme editor or the uh, email editor we're going to sit here or see that we have the ability to set up the title so this is the subject line uh, something important uh, here we are going to set up this one now as you can see everything is going to be set automatically from the product name and also the product price you can go ahead and add another text for example here or an image here we have a drag and down or a drag and drop uh, as you can see menu or element adder we can add some coding some columns some logos if you want to add a logo add it right there for you so i'm going to change the image of it let's go ahead and see what do we have media from wix i'm going to add something right there so go ahead and add this boom you can add a link into the logo or customize the logo now so as you can see you can go ahead and resume your order or you can go ahead and uh, for example your not your order but your let's say here checkout checkout boom you can go ahead and choose a link the checkout URL, yes, and you're going to apply it. Uh, here, what do we have? We have a footer, which is going to be uh, the um, the ad for Wix. Uh, you can go ahead and invite, or you can get the invited clients right there to the Wix store and etc. 
So when you finish, you are going to click on save and continue. And boom, here we have added the template. You can go ahead and switch the template also. Go ahead and switch and you are going to see here the automation setup. You can go ahead and set the email type as promotional one, transactional or criteria, business criteria. And here we have the uh, recipients. You can go ahead and set uh, include trigger contact and include additional recipients if you want. But for this one, only for the abandoned card, you're going to include only the triggered contact. You're going to click on apply and then you are going to activate the process. So here we have everything in order. You can go ahead and add some steps if you want before adding to the act. Also change the trigger if you want. So this is an active one. So we have one that we have created for ours. And that was a suggested one for you or for us. So you can go ahead and read all the suggestions right there. And if you want to create from scratch, you are going to see here or set up a uh, automation from scratch by clicking on this one. And also you can go ahead and see all of the uh, popular engaged with client and also uh, some categorized uh, automation and triggered emails. So you can uh, filter by or search by the trigger, the name or the action. For example, thank you visitor for submitting a form. For example, thank you or thank or their clients that attended five sessions, customer who accept a quote and etc so get paid on time thank us more accept a quote and etc so you can go ahead and see here the trigger uh for the sell more online you are going to see here that we have the abandoned card uh invite customer back via email send a coupon when a card is abandoned this is also a very good one so it could cover this first one if you don't want to use the traditional one. You can go ahead and set up this. Also, you can uh, send a coupon to visitors who submit a form. So you are going to make a form and then you are going to collect the email addresses and send a coupon after they have left your website. And that coupon is going to be effective for them. Also, uh, it would be personalized for their names, for example, or whatever you want. So that was very simple on how setting up the automation, which is AKA the triggered or sending the triggered emails. You can go ahead and see more actions right there and uh, hide the suggestions, solve some issues and etc. You are going to get the uh, full uh, Wix support right there and read about the uh, automation right there. You can get a, here a very, uh, good experience about the automations or the triggered email from your Wix support. And here we have it. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.